Welcome to Australian Earth Science Education. Have you ever wondered how the universe began? What caused stars and planets to form? We are going to experiment with some of the forces involved and see how they could lead to the formation of our solar system. If we start at the very beginning, there was the Big Bang. This was a rapid expansion of space, time, and matter. Scientists study the Big Bang using telescopes in space and on Earth. We will use a balloon with dots on it. As you blow up the balloon, the dots get further apart, just like matter in the expanding universe is getting further apart. The universe is expanding faster and faster with time. The balloon would pop if we tried to show that, so we'll just stop with an inflated universe. There are four forces that act on matter in the universe. The strong nuclear force, weak nuclear force, electromagnetic force, and gravitational force. The nuclear forces both act across such tiny distances that we will not model them. However, electromagnetic and gravitational forces affect our everyday lives. When you sit on the lounge, gravity keeps you there, and the electromagnetic forces between the atoms in your body and those in the lounge keep you from being pulled through the lounge onto the ground. Gravity brings you back to the ground when you get off the lounge, too. We will experiment with electromagnetic forces first by investigating static electricity the first force that helped matter come together to form the solar system. For this experiment, you will need a comb, an empty aluminium drink can, a balloon, and some lightweight paper. I'm using chads from a hole punch used on newspaper, but you could also use a finely shredded tissue. You can charge up the comb by rubbing it on a woolen scarf or vigorously combing your hair. Then hold it over the chads. What happens? Is the static electricity attracting or repelling the paper? Next, charge up the balloon by rubbing it on your hair and try to make the can roll without touching it. Is the static electricity attracting or repelling the can? What did you observe about the force of static electricity? Does it attract, repel, or do both of those? Does static electricity act at a long distance or only close up? Static electricity was the first force that started pulling dust and gas together to form stars and planets. Gravity is weaker than electromagnetic force, but it acts across great distances, holding immense galaxies together. Gravity depends on mass. As the clumps of dust and gas increased in mass, gravitational forces between them caused the process of accretion. The particles were drawn together by gravity. Motion contributes to accretion. When objects move, they have momentum. The original clouds of dust that form the solar system have some movement. This becomes a swirling that concentrates matter in the center. You can model this using a round container, a tea bag, some water, and a spoon. Tear open the tea bag and pour some tea into the container. Add water and stir briefly. Just start the water moving and observe what happens. You can see the tea clumping in the center. This is similar to the way most matter in our solar system is in the center, the sun. There's still a bit of tea swirling outside the center. This represents the material that clumped together to make planets, moons, and asteroids. Massive objects produce a dip in the space-time continuum. This is sometimes called a gravity well. We will model the effect of a gravity well using a round bin, a large plastic bag or sheet, some elastic, a heavy rock or lead weight, and a marble. Stretch the plastic across the top of the bin and tie the elastic tightly around the top. Place the heavy rock in the center. You can see that the bag dips down to the rock, modeling a dip in space-time. Gently release the marble around the edge of the plastic. Does it go straight over the edge or not? Notice the path taken by the marble. Does it travel in a perfect circle around the rim of the bin or does it travel in an ellipse? Planets orbit the sun in elliptical orbits. You will notice that the marble ends up in the center after a few orbits. During accretion, the gravity of larger objects captures smaller ones which eventually collide with the massive object. In this way, solar systems are formed. 